1,400, descending 700. 500. Now a little bit of ground. 800, 780. Minimum, no airport. Minimums. Go around. I saw the last, the lights at the last second. Ram. Navigate. Yep. Confirm. Burn. That's good. DHEA. Flaps up. Tower 90 Kilo Sierra going missed and uh, it was tight. We might have gotten in. From my first solo in 2013, most of my 2,000 flight hours have been in glass panel aircraft. Although there are thousands of pages describing the many, many functions of these systems, I've found that the key concepts and scenarios for their effective use rather fuzzy. I'm hoping that this short video series and companion presentation material can add some clarity for both instrument students and longtime instrument pilots upgrading to these modern avionics. Welcome aboard. Let's start with the key elements of a modern panel. The primary flight display, a multi-function display and navigator, and a digital autopilot. I've flown with the noted Garmin units, and I expect the devices from other avionics suppliers to perform similarly. In this short series, we'll start with lateral navigation and connect that with the important role of the flight director autopilot combo. For my own clarity, it seems useful to sharply delineate between the ground-based and GPS-based navigation sources. Nicely depicted on the PFD with green and magenta needles, respectively. I like to think of an instrument approach being either green, magenta, or a hybrid of the two. Let's start with a classic all green needles approach. ATC vectors us to intercept the final approach course. We watch the green needles on the HSI come in, and we keep the needle centered as we're funneled to the runway. The mist approach is also green needle based and involves a right climbing turn to the intersection of two VOR radials. Let's jump to flying that same approach, this time using both needle colors. ATC instructs direct to an initial approach fix, and we fly the magenta CDI needles for the outer legs. As we approach the segment leading to the final approach fix, we're transitioned to the green needles for the ILS. Any resulting mist approach is flown by GPS navigation. And our nav approach is simply magenta needles from start to finish. Now we get to the exciting automation part. To be clear, the buck starts and stops with us. We program into the navigator the specifics of our desired lateral and vertical navigation. The flight director, the real genie here, then computes the pitch and bank needed at every instant to achieve the desired flight path. The autopilot, if engaged, merely drives the servos to match the flight director. I can't emphasize enough that it's our job to confirm that what's being commanded, both laterally and vertically, is indeed what we want. 
it's imperative that we be especially alert to the modal behavior of the autopilot buttons. If we press the nav button, it lights up nicely. However, which lateral mode is active, and in the same vein, which vertical mode is active, is revealed only on the PFD command line. Okay, so what command line modes are we looking for during our instrument approaches? Of course, we'll confirm if the autopilot is engaged or for hand flying to the flight director. And for the classical Green Needles ILS, we'll confirm localizer for lateral and glide slope for vertical, both successfully captured. For the hybrid ILS, on the outer magenta legs, we're looking for GPS lateral and either VNAV or vertical speed vertical. And as we're auto switched to green needles approaching the final approach fix, we again confirm capturing localizer and glide slope. As you might expect, the full RNAV approach differs from the hybrid ILS only in our confirming glide path as we reach the final approach fix. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Thanks for flying with us.